Welcome to Church at Home. My name's Jerry, and we're on the set of my new show called Jerry Reviews, where I, Jerry, am back with another round of comic reviews. What do you guys think of the set? I personally love the whole cans the most. For today's episode, we're keeping it simple, and we're going with the classic debate that has plagued both nerds and comic fanatics alike. Marvel or DC? On today's episode of Jerry Reviews, we're putting the best superheroes that Marvel and DC have to offer head-to-head -to, -head to see who comes out on top. But before we get started, let's kick things off with our memory verse song. Hebrews 619 says, This hope is a strong and trustworthy anchor for our souls. Let's sing it together. God is our hope. How cool is that? That means that we have a reason to believe things will be okay and that God is good. His promises that we read about in the Bible give us hope that he has good plans for our lives. Even when we feel overwhelmed, he's with us and promises to give us peace. There's a really great story in the Bible that tells us about a time when Jesus calmed a storm. That's crazy, like the original storm from X-Men? That's Jesus. And he brought peace to his disciples. Let's watch it now. Stories of the Bible. Jesus calms the storm. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water oh, hey guys. and even raised people from the dead. One day after preaching to a crowd of people, Jesus said to his disciples, let's cross to the other side of the lake. You got it. So they got into a boat and started out. Other boats followed him too. <sighs> and as they sailed across, Jesus fell asleep. Uh -oh. But soon a fierce storm came down on the lake. The boat was filling with water and they were in real danger. The disciples went and woke Jesus up, shouting, Hey, Jesus, wake up! Save us! We are going to drown! Don't you care if we drown? Jesus responded, Why are you afraid? You have so little faith. Then he got up and rebuked the wind and waves, saying, Silence! Be still! Suddenly the wind stopped and there was a great calm. Then he asked them, where is your faith? The disciples were terrified and amazed. Who is this man? They asked each other. When he gives a command, 
even the wind and waves obey him. Wow, Jesus calmed a huge storm just by speaking out and telling it to be. He's so powerful, powerful enough to bring peace to any situation. There are always gonna be times we feel overwhelmed or stressed about things going on in our world and in our lives. I know that's true for me, but this story reminds us that God promises to give us peace. In fact, the Bible calls him the Prince of Peace. That sounds like a super awesome superhero name. Jesus, you know, Prince of Peace. He is peace and his peace is available to those who believe in him. With him on our side, we can get through anything. Now all this talk has me thinking about, you know, superheroes. Who do you think will come out on top, Marvel or DC? Well, let's find out in today's episode of Jerry Reviews. Today on Jerry Reviews, we're comparing Marvel versus DC. First up, we got Flash versus Quicksilver, and uh, I'm gonna try to be as non-biased as I can. Let's go with the facts. Fact number one, Flash is straight up just faster than Quicksilver. There's nothing to it. It's in the comic books, you know it. The only way that Quicksilver was ever able to catch up with the Flash is when he went through something called Terra Genesis, which basically boosted his powers. Quicksilver couldn't even face through walls, he couldn't time travel, and he could not match Flash's speed straight up without Terra Genesis. So round one goes to the Flash. Yeah. Round two, we're talking about Iron Man versus Batman. And I just so happen to have them right here. In this round, we're talking about two superheroes that don't have any powers. These guys are geniuses, they're good fighters, they are good mechanics and engineers, but ultimately, I still think that Iron Man's the winner. Let me tell you why. In Iron Man versus Batman, Batman is a genius detective. He's got a high IQ, he's a great fighter, but he's only ever really built one suit of armor, and that was when he had to fight Bane. Think about it. Human Batman versus Iron Man in his crazy, full-on, awesome suits of armor. Iron Man literally has a nanotech suit that is built into his chest plate that can come out whenever. It's strong enough to stand up to the Hulk. It's strong enough to get him into space. Iron Man, I think, for sure, takes this one when we talk about very rich guys with no powers that are very smart. Good job, Iron Man. So round two goes to Iron Man. So right now we're tied up. DC one, Marvel one. Let's go to round three. All right, round three, we're pitching Hawkeye versus Green Arrow. These are the Robin Hoods, the archers of the series, and we happen to have both of their comics here. After extensive research, I've decided that this is a draw. Let me tell you why. Both of these guys are great fighters. They're great marksmen and archers. They're both on a superhero team, but really, there's not that much more special about them. Neither of them have powers, so for this round, we're going with a draw. On to round four. For all you ladies out there, we got Wonder Woman versus Captain Marvel. This one I'm pretty excited about because both of these women are awesome superheroes and they have tons of great powers. Let's find out who wins. For Wonder Woman, she's arguably equal to Superman in a lot of people's eyes with her powers, with her strength, all these different things. But when you take Captain Marvel into account, she's the protector of a whole universe, not just Earth, not just one little city like Spider-Man is in charge of his city. She protects the universe, she can travel through space, and although they can both fly, I think that space thing has a pretty big win. And the fact that she can handle and go toe to toe with Thanos, I don't know, I'm pretty sure I gotta give this one to Captain Marvel. All right, so round four goes to Captain Marvel. Let's check out Hulk versus Superman. This is the classic. And when anybody thinks about a superhero, you think of Superman. But when you look at Hulk and how strong he is, there's some debate to be had, so let's talk about it. Superman is arguably one of the most powerful superheroes out there. Why? Because he has so many superpowers. Superman is as strong, probably, as the Hulk. Superman is as fast as the Flash. He can swim as fast as Aquaman, and he's just got tons of extra powers to add on to that. But when you talk about the Hulk, the Hulk is special because his strength is unlimited. That's where he gets his power from. The more angry you make the Hulk, the stronger he gets. And yeah, he can jump really far distances, but he can't fly. And we all saw it, we watched Avengers. Thanos destroyed the Hulk. But that's not it. The Hulk versus Superman, 
technically Hulk has unlimited strength and Superman technically also has unlimited strength. So who wins this battle? If I try to think about just their powers in general and who I think would win in a fight against each other, I think I gotta give it to Superman. Kal-El for the win. So that wraps up the top five head-to-head -head battles in Marvel versus DC. If you were keeping track with us, technically this ended in a draw, but personally, I'm gonna give it to Marvel in my opinion. But what's yours? What do you guys think? Who would win, Marvel or DC? Overall in this Marvel vs. DC head-to-head, -head, ended in a draw. But I guess that makes sense since my top two favorite superheroes are Spider-Man and The Flash, one from each universe. Man, that reminds me. I should actually go to the comic shop and pick up some more comics and some merch. I'm excited for that. Hey, speaking of comics though, did you guys know that Saddleback Kids created their own comic? It's called Anchor Origins. How cool is that? You guys should definitely check it out. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Pastor Sean is hanging out in the SK Comic Studio now. Let's check it out and see what he has to say. Let's go. Oh, hey guys, um, still here in the Skomic studio here at Saddleback Church. All right guys, check it out. I found some of the original artwork for Anchor Origins. Guys, this stuff is amazing, so cool. So much talent goes in to making these comics. Now guys, today we're gonna be talking about peace. Difficult circumstances, guys, they, they, they feel impossible to overcome, don't they? But here's the thing. God gives us the strength and peace to get through every situation that we encounter. Now, in our Bible story, we saw Jesus command a storm. Guys, think about that. He commanded a storm and told it to be still. That's incredible. Now, while Jesus and his disciples were out on the water, Jesus falls asleep, right, the, on, in the back of the boat. While he was sleeping, an angry storm rises up and starts beating on the boat, knocking them around, and, and guys, it was crazy. Now, the disciples ran back and yelled to Jesus, teacher, teacher, don't you care that we're gonna die? Now, Jesus stood up and said, silence. And just like that, guys, the waves went still. The storm stops. Then Jesus looks at, looks at the disciples and says, guys, why, why are you afraid? Do you still not have faith? Now, guys, can you imagine what the disciples must have felt like after seeing Jesus, their teacher, raise his hands up to the sea and command the wind and the waves to stop. Now, if I think about it, there are days in my life where I feel like the disciples. I, I feel like uh, trouble or the storms of life are beating up on me. Maybe you feel like that sometimes. Just overwhelmed. Sick of kids making fun of you tired of unfair situations in the world. Well, you know what, guys? When I cry out to God and say, Jesus, don't you care that I'm getting beat up here? Don't you care that we're all getting beat up by life? Now, the moment I cry out to our Lord, I start to feel peace in my heart. He reminds me that he's in control. He says, Sean, have faith. Remember, I'm watching you. Whatever tough situation is that you're going through, um, whether it's an illness or a bully or problems in school, the, the problems may not disappear right away, and it's possible that they may never disappear, guys, but God will guide you and protect you. When the time is right, Jesus will calm the storm in your life. You can have peace because God knows you by name. He loves you more than you can imagine, and he's watching over you and protecting you every moment of your life. Well, guys, that's it for now. Thanks so much for hanging out with us just for a few minutes. I, I'm going to get back to some of this amazing art. I, I, I hope to see you back next week. See you guys. What a great reminder from Pastor Sean. When the time is right, Jesus will calm the storm in your life. All of us are going through different things all the time. Between school, chores, family, friends, and all our other responsibilities, there is a lot going on. But God promises to give us peace when we feel overwhelmed. We can always talk to him about how we feel, and that makes me feel better already. Well, friends, it was so fun being together today. I loved learning about the promise of God's peace. Even when I feel overwhelmed, he promises to bring me peace. Parents, remember, we have so many more activities available for your family at saddlebackkids.com. See you guys next week.